Oh, okay. Um, just sit on grandma's lap then. All right, interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to a little pleasant view, current household. So as you can probably tell, we are in the lovely town of Pleasant U right now. And I wanted to show off a very special cute household this is a household that i wasn't expecting to enjoy playing and that is because it involves the oldies if you guys don't know people often regard the oldies as one of the more boring rotations in pleasant view and that's because it's it's two old people who are pretty much done with their careers i mean you can have them start a new endeavor on a career but they're probably gonna they're probably gonna expire uh before they can even come close to reaching the top of that career they can't have children I guess you could have them adopt but you know what I mean it's like there's not a lot to do with the oldies there's not much there's not much for them to aspire for because they're elders they're pretty much already done with their life it sounds very harsh when i put it that way but let's just be real here so i actually moved the oldies into this custom house i think their name is ratana if i am correct but this house is absolutely lovely and as you can tell here by just like when i hover over the household they live right across from woodland park but it is coral and lilith unfortunately herb tends to die very quickly into playing the oldies and that is actually what ended up happening but let's get into this household and i'm gonna explain to you why this has been my favorite rotation and, and I was not expecting to enjoy playing the oldies as much as I do. So Lilith actually went all through college. I played several streams on this channel where we were playing Lilith and she was a drama major and then she moved out of college. She got her degree. She was a sorority girl in college and then I was like I don't want to put Lilith in her own household just because like it's too many rotations and I'm starting to do this thing where I stick several households together in one and make like a giant like uber household just so i can get through pleasant view and playing all these rotations quicker so that's how i landed on lilith living with her grandma coral because coral is technically lilith's grandma through mary sue and what i like to do is i actually made a tweet about this i'm just gonna pull up the tweet and show you guys because i think i worded it better than i can word it like live on the spot here so just today i made this tweet i had my lilith move in with her grandma coral post college coral appreciates her granddaughter keeping her company in lieu of Herb's passing and Lilith seems to view Coral as the mother she never had and I don't know I just think that there's I mean it, it's very simply put right but there's something here that like we as humans can all kind of tap into like I said I always struggle finding out what I want to do with the oldies and moving Lilith in with Coral was probably the best choice I could have made now this is this is this is Lilith's old look and I'm going to explain her new look here uh, in just a second we'll get to that but also Coral did have a wish to become BFFs with Lilith and I just thought that that was like the sweetest little sentiment like this grandma who her husband just passed away and she wants to become BFFs with her granddaughter that moved in with her I just think that that is so sweet anyways so we are currently here now Lilith is pregnant and I'll get to that in a second but let's focus on Coral so Coral oh my god I don't know what to say about Coral Coral since her passing has been getting getting out there, which I think is kind of interesting because I feel like Coral was probably married to her like she wasn't able in her youth to to date around and that sort of thing because i mean if you think about it like she lived in a time where you know it was kind of seen as like promiscuous to date many people and like kind of just like play the field a little bit before she settled down with herb so i think that coral because she does have a wish to have three first dates which you know i don't feel like this is very in character for coral but she has been going on many dates and one of the dates that she actually went on is with someone she's talking to right now. He is from the university world. His name is Matthew Hart. And look at that. He's asking her if she wants to go on a date. I'm going to stay here, Matthew. I just cooked some dinner. You know what? Why don't we invite him over? Um, because she did just cook some nice salmon. Coral is a very good cook. She has eight points in cooking. And so we're going to have her invite Matthew over for dinner. And we will see. We will. I'll, I'll introduce Matthew to you guys. But they aren't. They haven't really 
really like gone very far in their relationship yet if that makes sense like they haven't done much as of yet but coral has been whipped for another man here in pleasant view which it makes me deeply uncomfortable that i'm about to tell you guys this coral has been whipped for none other than pleasant view's very own don lothario she had a wish to get engaged to don because if you know don he runs through women in pleasant view like it's nothing and coral was one of his conquests it was like a one and off hookup but coral seems to think it was a lot deeper than that and she wants to now get engaged to don not only that but um she had a totally separate want from the engagement one to get married to don bless her heart she really thinks that she's the only one one of my mutuals on twitter said this is when the sure grandma meme fits perfectly and then i went ahead and i made it i want to get married to don lothario sure grandma let's get you to bed <laughs> really though bless grandma coral's heart she just she doesn't understand okay that's fine anyway so coral has been playing the field a little bit which i think is fun to do with this sim speaking of coral we actually have herb here and i buried him back here in her little garden out back when the weather is nicer and it's not like snowing outside i do have coral plant a little garden so herb's remains are kind of amongst coral's garden which i think is a really cute sentiment so matthew has arrived we're gonna have coral go and just greet him invite him inside of course this is her boo okay this is her man i mean i don't think they're exactly like i don't think she has a crush on him they're just good friends as it is right now what i think is really weird is Lilith was the one to introduce Coral to Matthew like she actually has a crush on Matthew but this is not her baby daddy I'm gonna hold that over you guys and I'm gonna withhold that information until the end of this video because <laughs> I want you guys to stick around to the end because it's like suspense right it's suspense anyway I'm going to have Coral just come over here and just chat with Matthew well we do a little bit of going over Lilith so like I mentioned Lilith went to college she got a major in drama what's really strange is she may have gotten a major Major, her major in drama but she wanted to be in the military career like she had a want to be in the military career so I was like okay she had like a wish to be in slacker military and I think the last one was like entertainment but I was like I cannot imagine Lilith being an entertainer I personally think that because she had such like a troubled childhood she would want to kind of help fellow teenagers that are going through similar things in the military I don't know I, that's just how I rationalized it but anyway I went I did go ahead <laughs> I love the faces she's making. She's so cute. I did go ahead and I had her join the military. So because of that, she had to take all, all of her like facial piercings. She did have a lip ring, an eyebrow ring, and a nose ring. Fortunately, she had to take them out and she also had to get rid of her dyed hair. So that's why she has this ponytail that you guys can see here. I'm looking for like a military style bun. I think it would look better. But yeah, that was before she got pregnant. So here's Matthew. Uh, as you guys can see, he is Coral's current interest. I guess it seems to be that they're just friends as it is right now. I'm gonna have him interact a little bit because she does want to become BFF. So Matthew, damn, she just got another plate of salmon. Okay, Coral, go off. All right, I guess I should probably get into who Lilith's baby daddy is. So Lilith's baby daddy is not that shocking. It is actually Curtis. If you have watched my Pleasant View series before, you would have seen the sort of culmination of how Curtis and Lilith got together. Curtis currently lives in the Pleasant View trailer park with Dustin Broke. They are roommates in the Pleasant View trailer park. I don't know why she's sleeping on the couch. She has a nice bed up here. I'm gonna have her get off the couch and go to sleep in your own bed. What are you doing, Lilith? Oh my god, they just kissed each other. Wow. Okay, ACR. ACR is going crazy. This is oh my god are they gonna are they gonna do what i think they're gonna do why is she sitting on the couch he's thinking about her okay he's like walking past oh oh what is he trying is he trying to interact with the cat i don't i don't know what's happening he's staring at her she's staring at him she's thinking she has lips over her okay i don't i don't know what's happening i'm gonna keep an eye on these two i'm gonna let acr do its thing though she's thinking about him oh now she's like lounging on the couch okay coral not with your husband buried out back <laughs> So when Lilith was in college, she, towards the end of her colleging, colleging, college experience, she got pregnant with Curtis's baby. And I think when she's a young adult, the pregnancy won't advance. I don't know if that's true though, but for some reason the pregnancy didn't advance until I had her move in with Coral. So her pregnancy is still very fresh. Like it's, it's, she just, she just got pregnant probably a couple of some months ago. If I were to like equate it to real time, but yeah, I'm going to move Curtis in eventually because I want to get Curtis out of the trailer park. He has an economics degree so he needs to save up a little bit of money and then he can move in with Lilith and his 
future baby. I might actually do it when I play Curtis and Dustin, which is like coming up on the cusp. Yeah, he will be moving into this house because Coral will die soon, unfortunately. She is 67 days old. I think my Sims live for 69 days. So she doesn't have much time left, guys. She is, she is, uh, yeah, she's gonna expire pretty soon, which is quite sad, but I'm trying to like have her complete as many wishes as possible and just do things that Coral wants to do. And also have her spend a lot of time with her granddaughter Lilith, which brings us back to the beginning of this video when I said that this is a family, the oldies, that I tend to have a really boring time playing. But when I played it out like this, I don't know why, but I've like been having so much fun. I think it's because there's such a strong bond between Lilith and Coral. Okay, Coral. <laughs> She's getting a massage from this guy down here. Oh my God, I can't believe Coral pulled him because he's one of the better looking university pre-maids. Oh my, no way. Oh my God, they're gonna go woohoo on the couch. No way, Lilith is upstairs. You guys are freaky. Wow, so this is actually her first woohoo with Matthew. We are experiencing it live right now. What is that noise? Is, oh, okay, the dog is digging a hole. That's great. All right, well, at least the dog's not in here. The poor cat though. The poor cat is like a foot away. Oh, okay, Um, just sit on grandma's lap then. All right, interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna let them have their uh, their like little fun time down there. But that is going to be it for today's video. I just wanted to show you guys this fun household that I've been playing that I didn't expect at all to have such a fun time playing, especially because my previous playthroughs of the oldies have been very boring and just very, not at all entertaining. But when I added Lilith into the mix, it really just, it really just started to be a lot of fun. So anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I'm gonna get like an overhead shot of their beautiful house once again that I did not make this house. I did add a second level to it though. So if you download this house, there won't be the second level. Yeah, I will leave it in the description box below. So you guys, if you want to download it, can download it yourself. But this has been the oldies household with Lilith. And anyway, guys, I will catch you all in the next one and peace out.